Play some bangers. Well, this isn't club music. <laughs> I thought you were gonna play some bangers. Wrong kind of club. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is more of a 
enjoy your dad's speed. <laughs> certainly take you to some exotic, beautiful locations. It's always nice when you feel the tires on your car reconnect to the road after yes. you go over the car. That happens in the escape a lot. A lot, yeah. Much lighter car. Yeah. There is no better here. <laughs> Our Avenue. Okay. Brave. This is the two way. She's a 1988 Bayfield 36, and you won't find many specs online, at least we couldn't, so here's her deets. 36 feet on deck, cutter rigged, most of the boats you'll find in this size are catches, but this one is single masted. Length overall, 45 feet with the bowsprit and the dinghy davits. Length at the waterline is 30 feet. Oh, those sails. We will talk about those sails later. We do like the standing rigging on this boat. It's very stout and in pretty good shape. There's some projects to complete, mild shock, but the price is right. Later on, we'd get another chance to see the trumpeter swans.
Our offer for this Bayfield 36 was contingent on a survey and a sea trial, but we'd need to line up all the subject matter experts to do that. In the meantime, there were some chores to do and bills to pay. So what we did in order to have the funds to purchase the boat is we pulled some equity out of our home, right? Uh, fortunately, we were lucky enough to buy at a time when the market was low compared to today. Um, we sure felt like it was high when we bought the house, uh, but um, the, the house is appreciated. We pulled about half of the equity out of the house in order to get the funds to purchase the boat. And with some of that equity, we also wanted to get rid of some of our debts. So like my car payment and our student loan payments, right? So part of the agreement was that um, they would cut us checks. <sighs> uh, so, but yeah, so they cut us actual physical checks. So we need to go and figure out what the mailing address is for my student loan and for your student loans and uh, for uh, my car payment and um, uh, get the checks in the mail. So, I feel like Steve Martin, that scene at the end, where he has his checkbook out and the phone book out because there's been a class action settlement against him, and he's going through the phone book, and he's like, pay to the order of Alice Anderson, $1.75. <laughs> pay to the order of... Pay to the order of Iron Bald McGinty. One dollar and nine cents. Next time on Proteus Rising, it's survey and sea trial day. But first we need to mail off some bills. While we do that, Cola and Sprite want you to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and ring the bell. Leave a comment. They say they'll fetch you an answer. You can also keep up with the whole Proteus Rising crew in real time on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Until then, Happy New Year! We are just getting our uh, paperwork together. Oh, I didn't uh, know you were rolling. Sorry. I know, it's, it's, called, it's called being candid. Oh. It's okay. Yeah, but and I got personal information here. We'll blur it out in post. Okay, right. We'll fix it in post. Fix it in post. No, you mean I fix it in post. You don't fix it in post. I fix it in post. We're a team. We'll fix it in post. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Now none of the edits will line up and everything will jump when you cut from... It's okay. It's fine. I'll fix it in post.